Here is a software that I'm sure flew under the radar of many people. I'm saying this because how powerful this software is and what it offers. It is just mind-blowing. And did I mention you can use it right now, basically for free? The software is called Instamat Studio, and it offers a lot of powerful tools for three artists. With the full release finally out, Instamat introduces even more features, maybe even too much. And it is quickly becoming the full package for creating convincing visuals. And yes, this video is brought to you by Abstract, but I wouldn't be wasting time if I didn't think this software is gonna be worth your while. We actually made a video a long time ago about Instamat, and I remember describing it as a mix of Substance Designer, Substance Painter, in addition to Quixel, with a little bit of geometry nodes sprinkled on top. Now it is out of early access, and now you can add on top of that TRGen or Gaia-like terrain generation and real physics, not to mention new visual improvements, workflow enhancements, and even real-time ray trace shadows inside of your viewport in addition to much more stuff. If you want to know what Instamat offers, you can click here to check our previous video. But if you just want the TLDR, Instamat is a new 3D texture, material, and asset creation software that aims to streamline the workflow with a full procedural approach and automation. Basically, you have everything you need in one place. Unlike Substance, Instamat's Element Graph can handle all sorts of inputs like 3D objects, textures, terrain generation, and they all can be exported from the same graph at the same time. So instead of using a dozen of software, you can do everything here. And I can't just believe it is free. The biggest upgrade in my opinion, especially with this new update, is bringing terrain generation nodes for creating stunning and procedural landscapes. Things like realistic erosion, water and snow simulation, smart texturing, and PBR material splat maps for entire biomes. Not to mention that Instamat's material library is free for commercial use, with a free Pioneer license. And here is a new addition that I think many 3D artists can appreciate, which is Curve Node. So now, you don't have to place objects, textures, details, and other patterns manually. Thanks to the new Curve Node, you can draw smooth curves, scatter objects, and map textures neatly along curved paths, which is great for detailed patterns. This release also brings an updated real-time 3D viewport, which is now offering a more accurate preview of the final product with ray-traced, physically accurate shadows. And this enhancement extends beyond the viewport to the mesh render and scene render nodes, allowing you to render directly within Instamat, as I said, in one place. Furthermore, you can now add your own HDRI to the viewport. This update also introduces new stylized textures and material nodes, making it easier to create hand-painted style assets. The stylized filter node applies effects like Kuwahara for a painterly look, while the mesh bake light and shadows nodes let you bake lighting and shadows directly into your materials. And if this is not enough, Instamask library now includes even more triple high quality stylized procedural materials for even more creative possibilities. And if you think that was it, here is more. Because who doesn't like more nodes? The new library of nodes and utility is adding more features like noise removal and JSON data parsing with graphs, medium filter and pass to remove noise from images, histogram equalization, and there is also string from resources, and JSON parse nodes, not to mention a ton of visual and performance enhancements under the hood. And to see the full list of updates and try Istamat completely for free, click the link in the description down below. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.